What's going on guys, it is Patrick here, and today I'm bringing you my question and answers video. How this basically worked is I posted up a video a couple days ago letting you guys know to go follow me and hit me up on Twitter asking questions, and basically what I said was the best questions will be answered. Uh, in the future, I think what I'm going to be doing is just straight tweeting it so I won't make a video about it unless I want to get a whole bunch of questions. So if you do want to get on in on that, you can follow me at the Smith Plays and uh, I should uh, sometime in the in the future I, I will be tweeting that and you can send me questions get featured on here. But anyways, guys, let's get into this. The first question that was sent in was by at Kason Bro, and he said, "How do your parents feel about the whole YouTube thing?" And I, I thought this was a good opening question. I get this uh, not in not in YouTube, but it, just in real life, the responses I get when I tell people I do YouTube are very very varied. Uh, from some of my closer friends, they think it's cool that I make money doing this. A lot of people don't understand. Probably 95% of people think I'm a nerd. Uh, but as far as my parents go, I gotta say, they're probably the most supportive people about it. My dad, not as much as my mom. Just my dad isn't too much tech savvy, doesn't understand things as well. But I gotta say, my mom is is extremely supportive of what I do. She thinks it's really cool that I have, you know, 27,000 subscribers. She thinks it's awesome that I make a, a decent amount of money on this every month. She just really is is really supportive. Both my parents are, and I gotta say, that's something helpful. You know, when your parents can you support can support you on something that you're doing, it, it really does help. Uh, and and you know, I spend so much time down in my basement. And some parents would fuss over that and say, "Oh, you know, you shouldn't be doing this. You should be getting a job, real job, or whatever." But my parents are really, really cool, and I do love that about them. At Schizo Smocho asks, "What is your favorite band slash music group? Also, what is your favorite zombie map of all time?" My favorite band has got to be Led Zeppelin. They're an older band, if you guys don't know them. Uh, in my opinion, the most talented group of artists of all time. You know, there's a lot, there's, there's something to be said for best songwriters, possibly, but I think they are without a doubt the most talented group of musicians to ever play in a band. I won't get into it too much, but they are just really, really awesome, and I do love them. As for my favorite zombie map, this is kind of hard. I love Darius, but Mob of the Dead and Origins are also way, way up there. I've been playing a lot of Origins lately. I kind of stopped playing it and then realized, oh my god, this is so amazing, and I've been really, really into Origins. But I think my, if I had to pick one, Mob of the Dead would be my all-time favorite map. Mob of the Dead is just... I. Words can't describe how much I love that map, but I, I you know, Darius is still up there. Darius is a classic. But if I did have to pick one, I guess for right now, I'd pick Origins, but all time, I would go Mob of the Dead. At Mules J asks, Do you have a job and what is it? Well, in the summertime, from about April or, or May to September, I do work at a golf course. This is the first year that I have technically had a job all year round. And by technically, I mean YouTube. Now, I mean, I'm not saying I make like thousands of dollars every month, but I do make a decent income that uh, is enough to support a high school student. So as for like real job, I mean, I think YouTube's a real job. If it makes you money, it's a job. But as for an actual job that like you go into work and you do stuff for other people, I do work at a golf course. At Moyes95 asks, how did you start liking zombies and how did you meet at Adam Tishapad? Who, uh, that's two pro few games if you guys don't follow him. All right, so how I started zombies is actually a really long topic and I'm gonna make a complete video about it. But essentially, my friend got World at War for PlayStation 3 and he had just beaten Campaign and he started playing this new crazy thing. And at this time, no one really knew what zombies was. You know, the only the people who knew were whether you had beaten the campaign or not, which let's face it, not many people knew about this. So basically, he came over, he, or he, you know, I went over to his house. He's like, dude, have you heard about this new thing? You, you beat the campaign and you get this. And I was like, oh my God. As we started playing it, I, I've never been so in, entangled, so into a game before in my life. And the next day I went out, I bought a PlayStation 3, got World at War, beat the campaign in a couple of days, and I have been playing zombies ever since. It's just, it, it was that much to me. It, was, it just got me right on day one. As for how I met 2 Pro Few Games, uh, it's kind of interesting. It was around 
January or December last year. Dire Eyes hadn't come out yet. And he just straight up messaged me. We were, we were both around 1,000 to 2,000 subscribers, I think. No more than 3,000, that's for sure. And he was just like, hey, man, you make zombies videos, and I would make zombies videos, and we have about the same amount of subscribers, so let's, you know, let's, let's uh, promote each other. So we did that, and it probably took like eight or nine months before I actually talked to him. I talked to him on Twitter a couple of times. I talked to him through chat Skype. And then I think just a few months ago, we did our first live comm together, which is really, really weird. But uh, we, we've known each other for a while, but we haven't really known each other for a while. So that's that question. At Matthew M. Cloud 2 asks, what is your favorite slash least favorite Pokemon? And I, I figured I'd ask this because you guys probably do know by now that I am in love with Pokemon. I've been playing Pokemon for a very long time. And I got to say, I, I, it's hard to call my very top, but there's a couple that I really, really like. I really like Totodile. I think he is a badass. He is awesome. I really like Kadabra, the psychic Pokemon evolved form of Abra. And I really do like Raikou, the, the electric dog the dog type Pokemon. He's pretty, he is pretty swell as well. As for my least favorite Pokemon, well, let's be honest. There are so many that I hate. I think Wigglytuff is really stupid. It's basically Jigglypuff just pulled out a little bit. I hate all the babies except for the ones that turn into cool Pokemon. So like... There's a lot of them, but like, for example, the one for Jinx, the one for like Chansey, it's like Blissey, I think. There's just so, so many that I hate. But my least favorite on all of them is Pikachu, because Pikachu is so hyped up. Everyone loves Pikachu, yet Pikachu sucks. He, he is so bad of a Pokemon. He is so hyped up. He sucks. I don't really like Pikachu. At Driscoll14, David asks... What obstacles have you encountered doing YouTube over the years? Well, it's really only been one year and a little bit, but I will answer this question to the best of my abilities. When I first think of obstacles, there is one day that really, really stands out to me, and it was kind of a day, it was a bad day for me. Uh, it was the release of the second DLC for Black Ops 2, which was Mob of the Dead. So, a little backstory, I just come off of Die Rise, which was, which is still to date, the best... Uh, the best video I've ever made, uh, most viewed, I, it, my ultimate guide to die rise. It almost has 300,000 views. So I was kind of expecting something similar. I was expecting a really, really high viewing video. Probably I was really expecting something even higher than that, I guess, when I think back to it. So it was around maybe 2 o'clock, 1 o'clock. I have been up for maybe 7 or 8 hours already because I get up at like 4 p.m. on DLC days. And I just was not on my zombie point that day. I kept going down and down and down. And I couldn't really get past around maybe around 8 or 9, I think. I, I, my controller kept dying, and it was just an awful day. And I, I've been trying so hard to get, get footage and everything for my ultimate guide. And I, I was on the verge of quitting. And it's really probably the only time I've ever in YouTube not not quitting as I'm done with my YouTube channel but I'm quitting making this guide screw this map I I don't want to and I almost did it I really I, I laid down for about five minutes and I, I just told myself you know Patrick if if you quit now you have two DLCs left and then there's no zombies for a year okay so just suck it up, put your big boy pants on, and do this. And it, it really was one of my lowest points in YouTube. I, I was just so so down and uh, really like I, I, I wanted to quit. And it took me a while, but I, I did get that video out that day. And uh, it turned out to be my lowest guide for all the DLCs, which, which wasn't anything to do with me. It was more just the timing of the video. Everyone was at school when that, that map came out. So there's, uh, it's a lot of YouTube logistics stuff. But it, it was my lowest point, my biggest obstacle. But I look back with, with such, su such uh, happiness, knowing that I said, you know what? I, I can do this. I, I wanted to quit so bad. And I didn't. Uh, so I, I guess it was a really big growing experience for me that I just said, you know what? Like if I if I quit now, I, there's there's gonna be no DLC, you know, and I'm gonna be looking back in, in a couple months. Like right now, if I had to quit, I'd be like, man, you know, 
what could have happened is the question I would have been asking myself. I would have had so much regret. So I'm really glad I did that. And uh, that's the last question I have for this episode. If you guys would like to see more questions, I have a ton. I have like over 100 questions. So if you guys want to see more than that, more, I, I'd be totally down for that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go follow me on Twitter, at the Smith Plays. link in the description. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Peace out.